Hello and welcome to Thursday's edition of Joy News Interactive on your Joy News channel on Multi TV, also live on DSTV channel 421. A lot of issues trending, but we would limit ourselves to just a few of them. A doom praise is just a few hours away, and I'm sure you already know that the Brooklyn Top Knuckle Singers are in town. And Bishop Kumchata will have something to say to Councillor Lutrot. And uh, well, I've spoken to Councillor Lutrot, I'll tell you what he's been saying. And then uh, there's this talk about what more political parties in Ghana can offer aside campaigns. I can see you're already itching to comment. Well, here's how to join the conversation. On Facebook, we are Joy News on TV. Same name will find us on Twitter at Joy News on TV. Alternatively, you can send me a WhatsApp message on the number 0560 800,000 0560 So over the years, there's been a lot of talk about you know, political parties in Ghana and what more they can offer apart from campaign messages. Now, this call has been reiterated by the executive director of the Institute for Democratic Governance, Dr. Immanuel Akwete. Since the activities of these political parties directly affect us, I want you to tell me what more you think political parties can do aside campaigning. Let's get onto Facebook. And Dwayne Dreezy says, we don't need them. That's what he thinks. He says that we should be colonized by the whites for another 300 years. That's what he thinks. I'm not sure everybody will agree with him. And, but he's saying that because he thinks all our leaders do is to do things that will bring them votes and enrich themselves with taxpayers' money and loans from foreign countries. Eboi Nathan says, I do agree with him. He's talking about Dr. Akwete of IDEC and says they should focus on various projects and other educational programs. He thinks uh, they should be formal and informal to educate citizens on various issues than waiting for election to approach before they move up and down to reach us, says most especially those of us in the villages. I'm not sure if he's in the village or he's speaking on behalf of people in the village. Mahama Bakojo, he says the MPP has always suggested reforms in our electoral system. As soon as other political parties agree, they backtrack. And he says, I just got information from someone who stated if it wasn't for health insurance, she wouldn't have been able to access health care yesterday. And he says, then I ask and these MPP people saying the health insurance scheme is not working well. Uh, I'm not sure what he's trying to get to, but that's not what we're discussing now. And uh, Nuobete Ibate says they should focus on projects that can last for 100 years instead of focusing on projects that will only fetch them votes. Apana Child says that's the problem we encounter here in Ghana. We campaigned and then that ends it. No change, no impact, no development. Well, a lot of interesting comments there about uh, what Professor Quetty said, Dr. Quetty, sorry, and whether people agree with him or not and what they, what they have to share about that. Now, let's stay uh, with election-related issues. Now, the media uh, exists to criticize and keep organizations in check and to check the ills of society as well. But it appears not everyone is happy with the work being done by the media. For example, there are people who think the media is meddling in the affairs of the Electoral Commission and being overly critical of the commission and their work. What do you think? On Facebook as well, people have been sharing with us what they think about that. You're, you're joining News Interactive with me, Benis Abu Bedu. When I come back, we'll be talking about a doom praise that's still to come in the show. And I would also bring you that video about Kum Chacha, you know, telling Councillor Lutrot his peace of mind. But there you have it. Um, talking about NDC MPP, we've, we've already done that. And we'll talk about what people are saying about the work of the media in relation to how we delve or, well, they think we are meddling too much in the work of the Electoral Commission. Uh, we'll bring you that shortly. But we'll take a quick break. When I come back, I don't praise and everything to talk about it. Please stay with me. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you for staying on Joy News Interactive with me, Benis Abubed. Before the break, we were talking um, some election-related issues, and Dr. Akwete, uh, who is uh, executive director of IDEC, he's come out to say that he thinks a political party should be doing more than just campaigning, and uh, he's also uh, asked that, well, people get more interested in political issues. Also, we've been speaking about what some people are saying about how the media in Ghana is working with regards to how the report on the work of the EC. Some think we are being overly critical. Let's get onto Facebook and pick some of your comments. Uh, Aliu Mahama says, I think the media is doing well by being a bit critical uh, on the work of the Electoral Commission because this country's peace depends on the way the Electoral Commission conducts itself. He says, when the country is on fire, no one will be spared, so the media still needs to do more to help ensure free and fair elections. Bounty Benjamin says, the media has rather been been lenient uh, with the EC on a lot of issues that can affect the credibility of the elections. He says, hashtag election HQ, and that's our hashtag here on Joy News, hashtag election HQ. Maxwell Hefu says, I salute the media for their critical eyes kept on the EC to ensure um, a credible election this year. Only God can help us. And he sighs about that. And uh, Maxwell Hefu, I've read that already. NS Jamal Salem says, the NPP is genius. Okay, I don't know why he's mentioned the MPP, but Ni Senga Joseph says, yes, mostly under the influence of the opposition. That's what he thinks, as the incumbent seems to be happy with whatever the EC does. And so, shall it be? A political party will only disagree with the EC when in a position and vice versa. Maxwell Jokota says, the media itself is not too critical, but they have created a lot of platforms for politicians to do so. And uh, Madin Michael says, it is not the matter of being critical here because the EC is a public institution and needs to be criticized. But I find this most of the time to be destructive rather than constructive. And that is bad for Ghana. Let's get here on to what's up. Um, this one says, these politicians are not doing us any good. They are selfish. You didn't add your name and location. Please remember to add your name and location to your WhatsApp messages. And um, Stephen Kwame Ankonam says, political parties can help only that these days political members think about their families first and not the general public. And uh, this one says, I don't think the critics are more than what we expect. It's to keep the EC in check okay this one says all we need is that all parties should commit themselves to a grand national agenda uh, for now politicians do what would get them votes and he says that's a big no this is not the way countries are built this is senanu from hohoi and uh, this one says npp is very watchful that's why and says the NDC is always happy about the ec you don't know why this is sakara from Saula. But what we're asking is, do you think the media is too critical of the work of the EC? Well, that's what some people are saying. But on Facebook, people think we are actually being too lenient. This one says the media is doing good by getting us on point information, but should do well to give us facts. Aaron from Dadieso. But what's the difference between on point information and facts? I'm not too sure if you can help with that. And uh, on Facebook, we'll pick a few comments and then we move on to the next issue. And uh, Ranji uh, Kofi Randi says, I think the media is now too critical of everyone, including unknown celebrities. So no offense. And uh, let's move on. I've already read one from Ahama Bakujo. Brins Rich, Nana Kenzie, Eric says, for where? I want the media to put more pressure on the EC. Eric Poor says MPP is using the media to harass the EC. Well, and uh, we've read someone else's comments suggesting that the media has been manipulated by the MPP. But, you know, you always get that when you're in a position. Everybody thinks that the media is doing your bidding. And uh, Noah Bete Baiti says some are doing well. Others are just seriously campaigning for political parties. Apana Charles says, yes, they have to. And uh, he means that the media has to be critical so that the EC will not feel reluctant and take some 
weird decisions that will affect us later. Boating Francis Godgesberg says, why is it that the ruling party seems favorite in the eyes of the EC? Why are they always defending the EC? And he's asking, is the EC working for them or Ghana? Please, Ghanaian media, don't leave them to destroy our dear country. The EC thinks uh, that they are protected. Well, the, you, you need to prove that if you think they're being manipulated. Boating Francis Godgesberg. Samson Kumsin says, wrong caption. It should rather be NPPs being hypocritical about the EC. And uh, we know that there's been a lot of, you know, back and forth about e-transmission of votes and the MPP says this and the NDC says that that's been in the news a lot. So many people think that the MPP is being well, hypocritical in addressing the EC. Yusuf Yakubu says, yes, they are being critical, but that's not enough. And he adds, that's my view. Abdul Razak said, they should just do things right. Now, I don't know if that's referring to the EC or the media. Julius Ameje says, no, the EC is rather being difficult, and that's an opinion a lot of people share. And Boating Francis again says the media is putting the EC on the right path. Rafael Bowers Akwey says, yes, the pressure is too much. So he agrees that the media is being overly critical of the Electoral Commission. Henry Adibua Castro says, not necessarily. And you see if C murder says, no escape for Ghana, ending our Facebook here says, is the EC not a hard nut? Let's get on to WhatsApp. Let me pick a few of your comments and then we'll talk about a doom praise. And this one says, votes are like water in a cup. You can't drink it without bending down the edge of the cup. If you want our votes, you have to put us first before your own desires. Prove to us that you really care and says we are tired of these politicians. They're all the same. This is Fiag Badu Emmanuel. Thank you so much for your comments. This one says, which pressure? More fire. Uh, he, he says we should fire them in a professional way. way. Ma, uh, Raman from Hohoi. And uh, this one says that um, unpaid teachers numbering 3,000 will all vote against the NDC to win so that our monies will be paid. Interesting. This is from Bonsu Kofi Richard. And you are saying that EC must make sure they act as a referee and not take sides in the discharge of duties. Well, that will end this conversation on whether or not the media has been too critical of the EC. Yeah, Behim, that's the tagline for Ghana's biggest gospel event, Airtel Adun Praise. Now, it's been seven years of constant praises to God for his goodness and mercies and joy forever. Can I hear someone say hallelujah? Yeah. Tomorrow, the Paris Dome will come alive as the Brooklyn Tabernacle Singers lead us to the altar of grace. Joe Metal, Obapa Christie, Francis Samo will join the worship and praises segment. You cannot be left out. Are you ready? I hope you are because I've already got my dancing shoes. Now, the Brooklyn Tabernacle Singers touched down yesterday and were in our newsroom. Guess what? News editor Israel I decided to show that he could also sing. But did he nail it? Let's take a look at this. Okay.
So that's Israel for you on Facebook. Gabriel and I'm Posa Hazel says, um, what part is Israel singing? Maybe he should audition for X Factor. He laughs and says, nice one. Yakubo even Chamber says, in any case, he sang on um, the spur of the moment. You are my glow local champion. He's asking Israel to practice more and perfection is inevitable. Mamiama Samwa after laughs and says, my darling Israel, you did very well. So clap for yourself. Demi De Simon laughs and says, Israel's dance i love and that join you stadium hey join you stadium i'm sure we're trying to type studios and uh, chef mana says as in fact this is all what man can do thumbs up bro says hashtag abochi part israel won't be happy with you chef man it wasn't abochi could you hear the baritone flavor israel's got a good voice please Zumani abdul rashid says no size israel sing and dance to the tune and prince nudin balmia says very interesting now here on whatsapp this person says i can't stop laughing why are you laughing <laughs> israel did well please he did very well did you people i don't like that this is from moritz and he says i love the music he should keep it up maybe israel should try some you know singing curry or something like that okay so still on you know interesting things a lot of your messages are coming in but tomorrow at the paris Dome at five it starts you can get your tickets here at uh, the reception of joy fm now kum chacha yeah you know that prophet kum chacha kum kum one soup you know about kum one soup yeah so he's taking a swipe at councillor lutheran and uh, he says that if he meets him he would deliver him now councillor lutheran i've spoken to him and he's told me <laughs> he's told me what he feels about this and also kum chacha says he wants to be your president take a look at this uh, before i pray for ghana uh, for the election mm -hmm. so this election i'm the joint mm -hmm. i'm the joint the election mm -hmm. because i'm uh open my party mm -hmm. you know that yeah you you are john the election yeah are you john the baptist or john no 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 you, you, you've joined the election thank you ah. because i am open my party oh you have opened your party yes uh, uh jcp jcp jesus christ party jesus christ uh-huh the founder is prophet kuchacha i'm speaking here yes that's right yes uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this december uh, more people try to vote for kuchacha mm. this uh, december 7th uh, more people try to uh, help me to do you have the capacity to be a president capacity yes to be a president uh, capacity uh, <laughs> no uh you can i don't understand the capacity yeah <laughs> uh -huh. can you be a president yeah i i can be a president do you do you <laughs> capacity oh, forget yeah. forget yeah. me for uh capacities oh. if you say capacity mm. are no shaking no so, shaking yeah uh, okay. uh, do, do you have what it takes to be a president yeah yeah it's not an easy job oh yes the the pastoral work is not easy mm -hmm. uh, the president is not easy mm -hmm. so me uh, i'm uh, so 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 far as i'm a, uh, i'm a prophet a pastor mm -hmm. to do this job uh, i can do a president okay yeah I so you don't want to be a pastor again oh so i'm a pastor you'll be a pastor president yeah prophet. yeah I'm, PPP. oh yeah i'm here yeah, thank you i'm a pastor Prophet Kumichacha, I'm still come and um, uh, uh, come to president. So I say, aha. So uh, God uh, give me that vision. Uh -huh. You have been listening to Councillor Lutro. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I, 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 the way I uh, time I come, mm -hmm. I, I'm listening to the man, the uh, uh, Lustros. Okay, Lustros. Uh -huh. By the Lustros, mm -hmm. I don't. Uh, I'm uh, forgive me for my speak mm -hmm. uh, or, or my speech. Mm -hmm. Oh, so that this man is need a powerful deliverance. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, come cha cha. The Lustros needs deliverance. Yes, Lustros need a deliverance because the Lustros uh, 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 speaking mm -hmm. or spoken mm -hmm. is negative and and babalasos. Uh -huh. Yeah, yes, it's a babalasos. 
Me, I don't know what, that. What he says is babalash. Yeah, if they say if you go a uh, marriage, a uh, uh, man, uh, 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 the singing room is very bad, a uh, kind of sour. No, me, I don't know that illustration. But if I I I I meet Lucius face to face, mm -hmm. it's not fight you. Me come chat I deliver that Lucius. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I deliver that Lucius. It's a babalacious. Yeah, I don't know what that means, but you can just come chat chat for some <laughs> really interesting words. Well, I've spoken to Councilor Lutrot, and he says he's surprised that Kum Chacha wants to meet him in person before he delivers him. He says, as a spiritualist, you don't need to meet him. You need to, you know, like the local way say, would to pay you. He says, oh, if he wants to <laughs> deliver him, he should send it to the realm of the spirit. He also added that he won't talk to someone. I mean, he, he doesn't even believe that someone who cannot even mention his name can deliver him yeah really so let's get on to facebook and japa yabwa emmanuel says jesus christ party says massa such a holy name shouldn't be mentioned in vain take jesus out of politics pastor i will urge him to change the party's names and uh, name sorry prince boating success laughs and says a blind man talking to um I don't know, a deaf, I'm sure, deaf and dumb man says, what an irony. I've never taken counsel Luther serious because his quotes and advice sound weird to my hearing. I wonder which body allowed him to counsel the public. But Kum Tata should also keep quiet. He's also a third party, so, so, so backing man of God. No, but he says his English is very bad. It was very bad when I listened to him yesterday on Joy FM. And he thinks that Kum Tata is looking for popularity. Isaac uh, Kisili says, why? Has presidential funds become so cheap or what? Says the price should go up, then at least uh, to one billion Ghana city will be okay. Kerry won the last and says deliverance. And then now come here, says, world's best comedian. This man makes my day anytime I see him on TV. And she quotes, me, kum cha cha, I deliver lustros. <laughs> and she laughs at that. Henry John says, we shouldn't mind these people. They just want to make a beef out of this. Kum cha cha delivering lustros. Interesting. And then... Um, this one says that he surely needs to be delivered. This is Chemical sending us a WhatsApp message from Inconia. And uh, this one this, <laughs> this one says, Kumcha Chapa says, I love height under bed. This is JK Richmond. And this one says, this is more than a comic relief. And uh, Kumcha Chapa, very funny. Babalacious. It's not in my dictionary. This is Fiat Bedu Emmanuel. And, um, this one is Prosper from Tamale, and he says they both need deliverance. This is from Ellie. He says, I laugh babalaciously. I'm sure this term is going to trend pretty soon. And this one says, I think this man should concentrate on his ministerial work rather than joining politics, because even his English alone, uh, well, it's something and it can create tension hey i wonder how english can create tension well we'll take that as a video of the day also something to lighten up your day and that's how we end joy news interactive for today my name is benis abubedu don't forget the conversation continues on all the social media platforms on facebook and twitter and instagram as well we are joining us on tv alternatively you can send us a whatsapp message on the number 0560 800 000. i'm actually expecting a video from you singing in song from the Brooklyn Technical Singers or Joe Metal or Bapa Christie or Francis Samoa, you know, let me see how well he can sing. And maybe who knows, you could win yourself a ticket. And that's how we wrap up Join News Interactive. Do take care.